Kerouac. How you doing? Hey, not too bad. Good to see you, Billy. Good to see you, too. Great show you just did with Jack Smith. Thanks. We have a blast all the, all the time. That's great. So tell me what you're up to other than this. Well, we've got Prism Mind uh, doing a second album. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more promo work for the previously released Negus album, which isn't entirely new, but I've got some work to do myself with promoting that. Uh, being Steve Negus from Saga. Of course. Uh, La Symphony. That's going to be a big project. We've got album number four in the works, and that's kind of an instrumental, classical, metal sort of thing. Sure. And the new Sound Chaser work is, uh, again, kind of an instrumental, but more progressive rock sort of vibe. And uh, we're working on album number three and four currently. So there's lots coming out in the next year. Do you want to tell me any history of the bands that you're, you've just mentioned? Well, Prism Mind How'd you get together? How'd you start those? Yeah, Prism Mind, which is more of a metal-based band. Um, actually, John from Jack Sith. And our which one's John? The singer? singer? Yeah. Okay. And our previous drummer, Mike, along with the bass player, started that. Mike Harshaw's been on the show. Has he? Well, yeah. there you go. Mike Harshaw. And everybody knows Mike. Yep. So he's, uh, we're working on album number two, and that's kind of kind of trickled out. We formed about 10 years ago, and it uh, just kind of all fell together in a nice, cool. nice little way. Um, Lost Symphony is an interesting project. I'm the only Canadian. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Where do they so come from? They're based out of Boston, the Boston oh, yeah. area. And so we work digitally, obviously. We work online, and we've done three albums that way. Wow. The cool thing about that album, or that project, is that we have a lot of guest players, drummers, mostly guitar players, who pretty much everybody knows. We have uh, former members of Megadeth. Oh, great. Uh, Extreme. We have Nuno Betancourt from Extreme on really? one track, uh, drummer from Pearl Jam, um, a whole bunch of different guest artists who have thankfully liked enough you know what we did enough to go yeah I'll contribute to that so that's pretty cool we got album number four in the works on that one um, oh, that sounds great Negus we live in the same town Steve Negus so we have a mutual friend who introduced us and I've been his guitar player ever since and, uh, super cool guy and hell of a musician yeah and um, what did I leave out Sound Chaser. Sound Chaser, okay. <laughs> Sound Chaser is a friend of mine, Art Griffin from Collingwood, um, in his sort of instrumental, progressive rock uh, kind of styled project. And that's been a lot of fun to, to work on as well. We have a few guests on that as well. And uh, like I said, I think it's album number three and four are currently in the works. Um, he's a real slacker, as you can tell. Great. So how did you start in music? I started playing guitar when I was nine, and that only came about because I can't skate. <laughs> so my hockey career took a quick quick dive, and I thought, well, what else can I do that I would enjoy, and I don't really care if anyone else is involved in it, right? So I just thought, I saw a video for ZZ Top Legs. Oh, actually. really? Yep. And I saw, I think it was that, with the spinny guitar. Yep. Right? The, <laughs> And I was like, I gotta do that. That's amazing. So I asked my mom for a drum set. And right. she said no, so I said, okay, how about a guitar? How about a guitar? <laughs> and that's been it. And then uh, I started teaching when I was 16, and that's oh, did you? still what I do for a living. So, so cool. it's prog mostly now. It seems I get involved in that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, I'm probably, I don't really listen to a lot of prog in the sense of like, I, I skim the surface, but prog, True prog fans, I'm like the tip of the iceberg sure. in knowledge. Those guys know all the rest of what's down there. Right. And I just go, no idea. There's so many bands and, and artists out there that I've just never explored. Guitar influences then? Mm. Where do we start? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I grew up with the classic rock stuff. Sure. Right? So your Jimmy Pages, Angus Youngs. But then I got into guys like Steve Vai, Satriani, and the like from there on. Once I once I realized there were people who play like that, I was like, this is outrageous. And that was, of course, back in the mid-80s, whatever. Shredding. So, yeah, yeah, just just generally next level sort of stuff. And that, that attracted me. So I get into players from all different styles um, with that in mind of like find high level players to you know, get inspiration from. So yeah, different styles, country, Bluegrass, there's some killer players in that style oh, yeah. as well, right? Yeah. And so I'm, I'm still you're, absorbing. You're all of it. All of it. That's awesome. And uh, okay, so where are you going to go? You got four going right now. 
four or five. So what's next? What's next? <laughs> Get them finished. That's what's going on. <laughs> Finish right? the current. And thank, like all I right. mentioned to you earlier, thank goodness none of them are active all at the same time. Right, so I can sort of separate my schedule and go, okay, this week I got to finish a Lost Symphony track and then collect some ideas for the next Prism Mine track the next week. So a lot of moving parts, but thankfully not moving all at once. Interesting, okay. And uh, I have one question. I, I kind of have, have toyed with this question for a while. It's from Woodstock, actually. There was a nerd reporter guy like me okay. with rockers like you. And he looked really out of place, actually. I hope I'm not that out of place. <laughs> but he came in there and, and said, why music? Why is music the great communicator? Something like that, anyways. So go where, go where you like with that. Probably because humans like patterns. And when you hear a bass drum go, that's a pattern. And we're kind of addicted to patterns. Next thing you know, we're doing this and stomping our foot and yelling yeah. and whatever, right? So I think it's a very organic and almost like tribal thing that's never really gone out of our systems over the years, right? I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, that, that's probably the first answer I would come up with. That's pretty good. We're on limited time here, right? So I, I want to get you back in your car and back to Hamilton as soon as possible, but you got anything else you want to say to the people? First, maybe how to reach you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Contact so, info. Easiest is probably Facebook, just my name, and uh, Instagram at Kelly Carolock underscore 75, I think. I'll put all the links. In. Something like that, yeah, I'll pass all the links. Those are the easiest to get. And then all the band names they have there, dot coms. Yeah, they're too, listed right? in, in the descriptions and everything. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll add that on the description of YouTube. Cool. Uh, who do you think when you when you get the Juno? Who do you think? <laughs> you for suggesting we get one. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. All right, well, thanks for being on. Musicians thanks in bars food. getting beer. There we go. Nice summer day. Like Eric. There we go. Take care, bud. Nice guys. Thanks. Have a good one.